The government is urging everyone to get booster shots, especially with the current threat of the Omicron variant. To talk to us about what has changed in the policy, you have National Task Force Advisor Dr. Ted Erbosa joining us via Zoom. Good afternoon, Dr. Ted. Thank you for joining us here. Good afternoon, Jess, and good afternoon to all the televiewers of One News. Okay, sir, first, any word if the NTF will be issuing a new resolution to mandate booster shots, especially for on-site workers? Well, as of now, we've shortened the, the interval for the booster shot between the second dose and the third dose, uh, seeing that data from abroad is showing that uh, those who have uh, three shots uh, do, do better with the Omicron variant than just the two, two doses. So we have shortened from six months to three months the booster doses, and hopefully even our workers will be able to get their shots. So those that got their shots last September are already uh, able to get uh, a booster shots, whether homologous, the same variety as the principal, or uh, heterologous, a different brand of uh, vaccines. But is there at least a plan to make it mandatory for on-site workers? Well, of course, the, uh, the, the mandating of vaccination is dependent on the workplace and uh, the risk uh, attendant to the type of work given to that particular area. I know for hospitals, we really require our uh, doctors and nurses to have at least a vaccination to protect them from the high-risk intervention. There are also other, other businesses that have a lot of uh, interface with the public or with the private, with the, with the people, so that uh, having them vaccinated would be actually better than uh, not having them vaccinated. So some, some corporations are mandating either a vaccination or getting that free from government or having tested uh, with a PCR test every so often, regularly, every seven days or 14 days to get tested if you are unvaccinated. Okay, so do I take it to mean, Ted Arbosa, that at least for now, uh, the rule is it's going to depend really on the business owner or the establishment if they are going to require their workers to actually get a booster shot? Correct, correct. And uh, the government just makes the vaccines available for everyone. Uh, it is free. They do not have to pay anything. And it is available. We have about 90 million doses that are still in our stockpile uh, we have uh, been able to receive 205 million doses. And before the month ends, another 5 million doses are arriving. In fact, uh, mm -hmm. there are deliveries this evening at the airport, which uh, we are going to receive uh, in behalf of uh, the Philippine government. Okay, now, sir, similar to the previous policy, will workers without boosters be required to undergo regular testing at their own expense? Yes, that policy stays because... That is for the protection of the public. You no, know? if you are, if you are, you have to be sure that you are tested, so that uh, you are not a risk to the public sector when you are in a workplace. So that's that's a policy that can be implemented against uh, during uh, the work hours. Okay, uh, just to clarify, that policy stays for the primary set of vaccines. How how about for booster shots? It required in Puba na magtesting din sila if they haven't had their booster shot yet. Oh, well, you are already actually fully vaccinated when you have, uh, it will be advisable and optimal if they get a booster shot to protect them from the Omicron. But uh, I think uh, after two doses, you are considered fully vaccinated. The booster shot can be, doesn't have to be really mandatory, but we, we feel you are better protected with a booster dose. All right. Now, cases are also seeing a slight increase, and we have, again, a fourth Omicron case. What observations do you have here? Is this or is this not a cause for concern just yet? Well, it is a cause for concern because the husband of this uh, female, the fourth uh, Omicron case that we have, well, all have been imported and did not infect. The first three never infect, infected any other person. But it seems that the husband of this 38-year-old female tested positive by PCR. So this test is now going to be undergoing full genome sequencing to find out if it is indeed Omicron because if the husband did not travel, uh, then this is already a local transmission. Okay, now of course we're seeing an uptick in cases, especially here in Metro Manila. Uh, a right. number of experts, even the health department, saying that we should at least wait until January for us to fully determine if there is indeed a surge. Should that be the case? Do you think this is Omicron driven or this is more a holiday case? 
So it could be either, but uh, I, I am actually thinking optimistically that it is because of greater mobility, because of uh, several parties and uh, gatherings that have happened during the holidays. We celebrated it with the low risk category, but suddenly our cases are increasing. It was uh, a week ago, it was like uh, 100, a little under 200. Then a day later, it became 200 plus, a day later, 300, a day later, 400. Luckily, yesterday, it dipped again to 300. Mm. So we don't know yet. Uh, I think we put caution in the wind and and wait and see and hope that this uh, uh, increasing reproductive number does not lead to a real outbreak. All right. Thank you very much for those updates. Again, that's NTF COVID-19 advisor, Dr. Ted Erbosa. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jess, and uh, Happy New Year to everyone.